everyone, Magic Lover recording a little Legacy one-on-one -on -one action. I am playing my green-black build of Meritocracy, the Dark Depths Thespian Stage combo. Uh, no, we'll keep it. That's got just about everything we need in terms of land and whatnot. I am going to go for the Excel, even though this means I won't be able to cast the Hex Mage. I do want be able to have a library read for turn two, and hopefully should be able to find another swamp for that. Oh, Faithless Looting, so... Punishing Loam, maybe? Which is a good matchup for us. Life and Loam, Vampire... I think I want... Probably could have played stage there, but they play so many wastelands. I figure I just wanted to. Sheldred. Okay, maybe Reanimatorish. Some sort of in-between build. What would play Lingering Souls and Sheldred and Faithless Looting? Your player discards a card. Okay. do now want to draw, I was thinking about rotating, but I do want to draw that life in the loom, so let's, uh, let's put that on top, and let's keep this, since I think, oh, pause for video card reset, um, okay, so what I want to do, Loan this, play this, and I should be good. Yeah, okay. So basically what I'm going to do is his end step, um, hopefully, yeah, no wasteland, okay, so I'm going to uh, end step, pitch this to rotate that for a dark depths, and then go for it next turn. Tech Edge, you will not get to use that against me. Okay, let's... Uh, let's do the Swamp. Let's do Dark Depths. So I have nothing to discard. Uh, I'm not going to Makes it pretty easy. All I needed was mana of one sort or the other. Now, the risk I run of letting him untap there is, of course, he plays a wasteland, I'm cold to it, he plays a Liliana, okay, so I've got to go for it here. If he plays the uh, Liliana makes me sack off the land, well, kudos to him. But I do have Loam, so I can rebuild the engine. Perhaps faster than he can kill me. I'll have six from here. And we'll see. Does he play a land and play a Liliana? Or play an Edict or something else? Like a smallpox? Could be. Does he have it? I mean, it's black. There's a lot of sack effects, whether it's Lillian or Pox. Oh, ah, okay. It's going for the buy time. Okay. So let's, um, <laughs> oh, you know 
thought I made a mistake. I was supposed to dredge there. That's my fault. I really wasn't thinking that through. I was supposed to dredge and did not. So next turn I have to remember to dredge one of the draws off library. So I can rebuild the rebuild the combo in case he does find the answer in the form of some sort of edict effect. Ooh. Gotta turn that down. What do we got here? There we go. So he's loaming. He's looting. a little more sense now. Of course, I haven't seen the white source yet, but I'm betting it's in there if he's playing a dredge-ish kind of deck. So I do want to crack this for wasteland, so I'm going to keep, uh, I have to keep, uh, hmm. Do I go for it here? Uh, I'm actually on a clock, so let me swing to clear this. I'm gonna feel real dumb if he just untaps and plays Wasteland, but... So I do have some outs here. I'm assuming he's gonna unburial rates children. Yep. Okay. got me in trouble. I do need to get out something like another critter, whether it's a Elder Spirit Guide or a Hex Mage or something. Anything really gets me going here. Oh, <laughs> I clicked the wrong thing. Didn't even get one part of the combo down, so I'm dead here. I think I was dead anyway, but I definitely clicked the wrong, uh, wrong land. Okay. So Shieldred's trigger is a tricky one because it's during my upkeep. So he is a legend. He does certainly does rely on targeting me for discard. 
Uh, which means I'm gonna. I didn't. I saw a tech ends of wasteland, so I'm assuming he's budget. So I'll get rid of the recursion package. Okay, computer. Anytime. There we go. Which means I'm also gonna drop the needle count. Top can get little down there, and that's about as much as I got. Not really of much use since anything I want to discard. He can like looting or on burial rates. He's just gonna use from the graveyard everything has flashback or retrace. Do you want to play first? Oh boy. I'll keep. I'll play an Urborg. And a Petal. Since I think this stuff is safer on the field than in my hand. He's going to loot. Okay. Loom. So I am tempted to go after it next turn and shut off the engine. Excuse me. Since I get the looting and the loom. Which would be annoying for him, I'm sure. But something makes me want to really keep that for value. Ooh boy, okay. So I got the combo. That's kind of the optimal draw there. Changes everything. That's why I like Urborg. Let's just tap for black mana. Making Hex Mage a lot more possible. Make sure all my yields are off just in case, because I want to get him on his end step. is a bummer. Okay, I think I can still get out of this, so... I think that was his only out, too. Discard a card. I'm going to discard a guide. A sack a creature. want to guide to rotate no what am I saying I have to play the bog and then guide rotate the bog okay let's uh, get rid of that and then you know I think I do want really anything that deals with enchantments. And that should provide me the card advantage I need. I'm going to be real aggressive on this, unlike last time. Yeah, I'd like to. Um, hmm. Should I aim Ghost Quarter? Or Tech Edge? Nah. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to drop that. Let's play that. Let's sack that. Let's get a green source. Let's use that to needle. I've got a name Liliana here. I mean, I'm Putting him on budget for his land destruction package. I could have named Ghost Quarter, but since I've got this in the bag. I am gonna crop rotate for Thespian stage here, that's fine.
again optimally his end step, assuming he doesn't do anything nasty. Good news is even if he no, if he poxes out the discard. Oh no, I'll float the mana. Float the mana, discard that, sack that. Hopefully it's small pox. If he full poxes me, I've gotta do this before he does it. Oh god damn it. Lingering souls, you son of a Okay. Just have flyers, huh? Yep, yep, yep. Um, hmm. I am going to cast this after I swing so that I have something else to sacrifice to Pox. Swing and flashback souls. Souls, why I am losing this game. Maybe Golgari Charm is in a a good idea. Reign of Filth. Speaking of which, I can't wait to build my Tinfin's build with Reign of Filth and uh, Four Children of Corliss main deck. Let that sink in for a moment, right? Pay 10 life with the trigger on the stack since you've already paid as the cost. Sacrifice Children of Corliss, get the 10 life back. Wipe the board. Hell, it'll even kill Emrakul. Throw a little Vorbass Stronghold in there, keep getting those children back. I do have to block here. Now I know by doing so if he poxes, but otherwise I go to three, he can block and exactly and then come back and kill, so I do then. And this should do it. Interesting deck. Pretty neat with a lone package, pox deck, and souls. What, you know, just having a 1 1 flyer. Kept them in the game. I think this is where green black kind of falls down, where the, the reach and the instant uh, nature of red would have come through. God, I'd love to figure out a way to jam greater good in here, right? Um, maybe Rite of Consumption might come in. I don't know. I mean, there are a couple times where I could have, you know, there's no counters in here. Or I could have just three mana sorcery and game over. 
So we'll see. I might uh, might find room for that. Thanks for watching.